morning. Good morning. Oh dear. Just got dressed. Hold on. Well, it's a bit rough, isn't it? <laughs> Let's just see. Oh, that's a bit better, I think. Oh, I am struggling with uh, my hay fever this morning. Put a little bit of makeup on, um, but not put any mascara on. My husband's just come in, finished the grass, and um, yeah, just give me a cuddle and said to me, Oh, you look really rough. <laughs> Thanks, love. He said, no, I didn't mean that. I meant you kill. <laughs> Thanks. Go outside. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so he's been cutting the grass. I've um, been doing some jobs this morning, Monday Monday morning jobs. I try and sort of have a good go through on a Monday. I've been like a, a whirling, is it whirling dervish? Is that what they're called? Yes. Um, so, yeah, so I've just had a bath, got dressed, burnt myself a bit more. Yeah, <laughs> a bit more presentable. And uh, yeah, bare arms. I don't know. This is a t-shirt from, or a top from a couple of years ago. That's all. This is all you're going to see. <laughs> My orange loveliness. Quite like orange. Um, I was going to say it's quite a neutral colour. Oh my word. That's really, yeah. Oh my word, got fringe gate this morning. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have a manicure um, today and a pedicure. And I'm really in need of, um, I'll just move you over slightly. That's it's a better angle. Um, really in need of some, I think, TLC today. I feel so tired. Oh, why are we not kind to ourselves at times? Why do we like keep going and push through? I've done like over 5,000 steps already, and it's 10 to 12. So, yeah. I'm having um, a herbal tea. I've rearranged the tea tray over there. Um, I'm having green tea and pomegranate. And I really, really like that. I don't know if that's going to put over my face. Is that better? I think so. Yes. So that I have come on to say hello, good morning, start of another week. Um, and I'm just gathering myself. So I've got my... Tube sock, which I think I'm showing some love to it. So I think I'm going to try and um, knit on it, especially when I'm doing my editing every day. So that would be a good, I think, I think I might have started Friday. So I've picked up a little bit. Friday or Saturday, Saturday, I think, Saturday. So I've done that much. Um, and that's what I did. The week prior to that so I'm taking it with me because yeah while I have a pedicure it's the ideal thing for me just having my hands and uh, put a little bit of work work on that and I must admit it's a bit boring I got it out yesterday when um, the kids come over and we're sitting like having um, a cup of tea and a glass of Prosecco my daughter who's a knitter said to me oh she said you're still knitting that sock I said yes. She goes, Mom, she goes, I think it's a bit long. <laughs> it's a sock tube. I said, but I think I've made a mistake with the yarn that I've chosen. I think I think it should have been a striped, you know, like self striping that may may have been easier, quicker, I don't know. So that's that. So that's going with me today. And then oh yes. This is why I got up at Early. I woke up at 6, 6.40 this morning. I normally wake up between 6 and 7 and normally always get up straight away. As soon as I'm awake, I'm awake. I could quite easily have just turned over this morning. Whether I'd have gone back to sleep or not, I don't know. Um, but I wanted to put some work in on these socks. So, let me just show you the pattern. I have shown you before. Just in case, just in case you, you've forgotten or you weren't paying attention. <laughs> So it's those, those socks, and this is um, a Ukrainian designer, and that's what she's what the lady's called. And if I'm right in thinking, I've only shown you the um, the um, the rib because I wasn't sure whether whether it was going to work with the, with this coloured yarn. So this is. Excuse me for sniffing. This is Mr. and Mrs. Um, Rabbit's yarn that was gifted to me. 
my kind viewer and the oh band it was part of a sock club for 2020 and it was called the Bloomsbury Artists it's only the wrong side <laughs> and there's all the details there yeah so precious gay yarn she's not dying anymore unfortunately but who knows might not be forever so I can tell you it's a four row pattern repeat so I think that's okay look at that <gasps> wow so I'm really liking that really really liking that um, I think if it was um, a plain yarn, a tonal yarn, you probably would have maybe a bit better st stitch definition. But uh, I really like it. And for me, oh, I don't know, yeah. It's not showing up as nice on camera, as clear on camera as it is here. But, yep, yeah, I like that. So I'm carrying, carrying on with that. And it's living in my little... DPN case in my garden party bag that I made from the Lewis and Iron fabric. Right, just bear with me, I need to blow my nose. I do apologise. <laughs> Always put those glasses back on quick. Oh, that's a bit better, I think, I hope. <laughs> um, and then I've been knitting on um, Freddie's cable jacket, the back. I started on the back. Oh, and I have wanted, I've wanted to work on a cable project for the last, oh, over a year, must be over a year, yeah, because the start, I got sidetracked with all the shawls and, and knitted last summer, I think I was supposed to do one for Fred, uh, for Alfie, look at this, oh, that's a big ball of yarn, my Aaron, oh, I am just loving that, just loving that. I know it's June, I <laughs> know his birthday's in July, um, but for me, with the grandchildren, as I was saying, I still want to make them something, so I need to break it down throughout the year, or knit them something throughout the year and give it to them at Christmas, I suppose. Um, oh, and I'm not far off um, for doing the armhole, so it's, it's knitted flat. And because it's that many stitches, I'm just on a needle, a straight needle. Oh my word, look at all the texture in that. Really, really like this. So I'll get to the armholes and I've got to finish that this week. And then I'm trying to make a piece each week. And hopefully I'll have it ready for his birthday. So it's a hooded jacket. It's by Sarah Hatton. And that's what it is. It's, it was knitted in the cross originally but that's a kind of oversized squashy comfy cuddly um, jacket that I want to make it haven't got the buttons but I'll have to go and get those so I'll have to go to black sheet walls <laughs> that's not a hardship my eyes are so sore so sore I do apologize I can literally just scratch them out on yeah so how are all of you lovely ones did you have a nice a nice weekend? Oh, we yeah we went out for dinner, which you would have seen. I'm sorry it was only a short one yesterday, but we we were just with the family, and it was kind of everything. There was no plan; it was all quite loose. Normally, we're quite structured as a family. That something's coming up, right? Okay, we're going to do it more times than not. It's at our house, um, but we were invited out at the end of last week. We got the invitation to go out for dinner. Oh, it was just lovely just lovely so we went to a carvery and a carvery is where you go and i think there's four different meats so sorry for any vegetarians or vegans um yeah so there was gammon gammon turkey beef and lamb blimey that was a bit difficult wasn't it for me to recall that <laughs> um but it was just it was just lovely um, we went with my daughter and her and her husband and eldest son and it was lovely. My, my husband's got everything that he wants. 
Um, and he was so excited when he caught the phone, which he's not a man that really sort of shows his emotion, but I think he was playing he's having a roast dinner. Obviously, my daughter's company, our daughter's company as well. But it, yeah, it was just lovely. It was just lovely. Benjamin was really funny. And I hope it didn't offend anybody by putting a little bit of footage in of him um, drinking his ice cream out of the bowl. He had, well, dessert came, it, and I think it was my daughter's and my husband's first of all. We'd all ordered like an ice cream in some shape or form. Um, so they made Benjamin wait. He'd, and he's only, you know, two and, two and a half, two, yeah. Um, and then they went back, brought his through, but gave him a Sunday spoon, um, which, in my mind, he could have quite easily choked. So, yeah, we kind of, he did it, and then we were sort of laughing, and we just let him do it, because that was the safest option. And then I think eventually, um, my husband or my son-in-law gave him their coffee spoon, um, you yeah, know, to drink his ice cream. Or eat his ice cream, shall I say. Oh dear. Right, I think I'm going to pop off and I will come back and I will see you. And I think I'm going to go and change my top. <laughs> oh, funny, aren't we? Oh yeah, no, don't do bare shoulders. Ooh, I might be cold. <laughs> Can't knit a shawl up that quick. I'll see you later. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and how are all of you? How has your Monday been? Mine is, my, mine's okay today, certainly better than when I spoke to you this morning. <laughs> my eyes are not so sore as they were. I've been out and had my nails done, my toenails are done, but I'm not going to wake my um, leg up on the, on the uh, desk. So yeah, dinner's not ready. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'll just come up to spend a bit of time. Well, while I'm waiting for my dinner, <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, this is my bag front, and I've been really busy the last, I think, couple of weeks. Um, so it's hard when you want to work on a project. Well, I find it hard when I want to work on a project and. Um, there doesn't seem to be enough time you know just to lose yourself really um so what i'm thinking is i want to get this bag this bag finished so that's my front and my back this is my front and my back sorry that's exactly that's exactly the same and all i've done since i saw you last it's um i think is just cut these pieces out and they're my linings for the bag. I think it was originally going to be another bag, but I think I'm just going to use it for my bag linings. I think I feel like putting, I was going to say putting a vest in, putting a zip in. So I have my drawer of zips and I was just going to look for some, um, for some different colours. Let's see what I've got. It's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> um, oh, I've just knocked on it. It was perched underneath. Oh, I wonder if yeah, that might be a good one, mightn't it? 
Yeah, that'll be a nice one. So it's that one. What is that? Oh, it's for a dress. Okay. I think I bought these in, um, some of these in a job lot. In there's a place in Liverpool in the northwest, and I think there's a few in I think they're in the northwest called I think I think you pronounce it Abicon Abicon and they sell um dressmaking material like quilting material, haberdashery, yarn, craft kits, all sorts of stuff. And they sometimes like they'll bag some zips up um, for a pound, so you, it's like a lucky dip, you've got no idea what you're getting. Right, so that's too long for that. I know I could cut it down, but I'm thinking hmm, there's something else I could use in the meantime. What about a brown one? Oh, well, I need to put my glasses on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Wow, maybe it's going to be that one. <laughs> right, okay, I think they're too short. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe, maybe my bag is too big. <laughs> Do you like a bit of a big bag, me? <laughs> All right, yes, I think that's perfect. Hey, decision made, eh? And I've changed my top. Oh, I need to sit still properly. That didn't make any sense at all, right? They're too short. And there's an orange one. Oh, that's too short. That's because I've got my zips lined up in the drawer. That's why they look like they're longer. Okay. Where should I pull that zip? There. I'm worried I'm going to sneeze again, excuse me. Oh, so I had actually cut two bags out. So this is a different one. And I wanted to take part in the Crazy Sock Lady. I watched um, Ali the other day from Little Drops of Wonderful, but I think it was on her new channel. Is it Little, Little Life of Wonderful or whatever? I can't remember exactly what the title is called, but she does a dodgy bag now. And I was wondering maybe I could enter these. Um, but it was really, really good, really interesting to see the different fabrics. And like me, I think she'd started, put them away, forgotten about them, and then found them again. Um, so this is, yeah, the second bag. How cute is that? I sort of wanted to do, do like a camping forest theme. Yeah. Okay, I think they were going to be second bags. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, I do apologise. I had to get up and blow my nose again. My word. Yeah, I was hoping to go for a walk tonight with the with the dogs. It might be that I'll stay in, <laughs> or unless. Since we've had um, we've been living with COVID, I have actually gone out walking a couple of times when it's been really bad, with my mask on. <laughs> And my sunglasses. And I think if anybody sees me, I think, oh my word, that woman is cracked. But to try and reduce, yeah, coming into, well, breathing in the pollen. So I've got those. So I'm quite happy that I've made my zip choice. And then I have some little bits of fabric left over. And I know, I know, I've got a box. I'll keep it all, keep it all. But I'm just wondering if I can make anything. <laughs> Don't waste it. <laughs> so I was just wondering if I could make like um, a needle cosy. Look how long that is. Oh, shall I just get my square that is six inches? Right, okay. Oh, so that's six inches and a bit. Okay. Right, so needle cosy, I was thinking maybe a pocket. Well, they look as if they're exactly, exactly the same print well, that's a bit narrower this one sorry <laughs> but it's the same oh, same size that'd be nice wouldn't it to go in the bag looks like there's an inner to go in one of the bags that would be good okay so we have a um yeah um, do, uh, I need to cozy. That looks quite cute. This reminds me a bit of um, Peter Pan. I don't have, well, I have like two things I think for when I was little. Um, and I've, funny enough, just found one of them, which is a blanket. Um, 
and it would have been uh, I don't know I don't know just my dad would have um, bought it I think that's why I mentioned it the other day on the podcast um, on the vlog and it's pink a baby blanket um, it's not perfect there's a singe on it I think yeah it got singed by the fire but it's on the back and you can't you can just see it on on the front but I'm thinking of giving that a wash and maybe maybe lending it to my granddaughter I'll have it back um it has no sentimental value I think I mentioned yeah no sentimental value apart from the fact that it was mine when I was a baby so it'd be nice to see my granddaughter on there um and then the only other thing I have <laughs> left on this is a long detour isn't it um is a Peter Pan book and it's really yeah really wrecked um but Alfie does like me to read it and he loves listening to the fact that it used to be mine when we uh, I've, I moved quite a lot when I was a child one of the places we moved to was um Ireland Belfast which is where my uh, um father used to come from and when my parents separated we came home so we we're only allowed to bring a couple of things that went in the suitcase something you could hold and something in, in the suitcase um but I think I've Oh, it's going to really sound really sad now. <laughs> so we lived, the three of us, three of us, four of us, my mum and two brothers and myself, in my nana's bedroom, in my nana's bedroom, in the bedroom of my nana's house, for like two and a half years I slept on a sun lounge. Oh my word, get the violins out. <laughs> and I had a cardboard box. Yeah. <laughs> I had a cardboard box. I used to put my books in. <laughs> but it used to be next to it. It would be my little bedside. <laughs> table oh my word that sounds so ridiculous so <laughs> yeah in there was my peter pan book <laughs> oh my word so yeah so yeah i don't want to show you these six inch squares <laughs> but maybe i can maybe i can get a pocket maybe i can get a pocket um yeah I've got that bit of material. So I need to do a bit of a bit of thinking. Maybe I'm past thinking today. Oh my word! Yeah, this is the yeah. So it does tie in with the um, <laughs> Peter Pan um, book because oh my word, I'm digressing. When they get um, when the um, is it? It's Peter and Jonathan, isn't it? That get caught by the Indians. They're all these. They were tracking them with the footprints. Yeah, that was the lost boys. Oh my word! <laughs> I think the sun's got to me. Um, and they also had a totem pole. I would love a totem pole. I think they are absolutely beautiful, like works of art. And I understand that they mean something, signify something. So yeah, maybe there's a um, a needle cosy there. <laughs> If you want to start a conversation, I think I really shouldn't, but you kind of keep digging. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I think, leave me to ponder. <laughs> yeah, leave me. And um, I'll come back and um, see you tomorrow. I'm sorry if there's not much content today, but that's been the day really um tomorrow oh picking the boys up so oh, it's tuesday day of doom do my bed tomorrow so i'll do anything other than do my bedroom um i don't know why i'm like it because i really enjoy the end product but there we are so i've got that in the morning then that in the morning what am i doing i think i'm collecting the boys and then alfie's asked to go to marks and spencer's for his tea we used to have what were called um g and g days which was Standard for stood for grandma and grandson days when I take him like to town for his tea. We haven't done that for a while, so take him obviously take him Fred as well this time. So that'll be fine. I think I might. Uh, I don't know whether to have my purse or not have my purse because um, he always fleeces me when I take him out. I just can't say no to that <laughs> cute little cheeky face. Right, I'm going to love and leave you. Let's see if I can come to some decision. Obviously, can't make a decision to save my life at the moment. So I hope you're having a really lovely Monday. Have a nice Monday evening. And I am looking forward, seriously looking forward to, obviously, sitting next to Mr. Jack that's on the couch. Um, but working on the cable. Um, jacket for Fred. I'm so in love with that. 
Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, because otherwise I'll be here all night. It'll be longer and longer. I'll see you later. See you tomorrow, rather. See you tomorrow.